So the best natural way to reduce blood clots and make your blood thinner. That's the first thing we're going to be talking about. That's the overall topic. So again, this is like common sense, but stay hydrated. 70, 80% of all the fluid in your body is going to come here from water. We need good water, right? The thicker your, your blood is, you'll see high levels of red blood cells. Um, you'll see, you know, higher protein levels in your blood. You're going to see higher iron levels in your blood, right? Just having enough water, good hydration, good electrolytes, sodium, chloride, potassium, magnesium, good electrolytes, good hydration, clean, filtered water is going to be key. Just maintaining hydration will do wonders for allowing your blood to flow. Again, people are consuming sodas. Guess what? They're going to have a diuretic effect, not to mention they have tons of phosphoric acid. So your body's going to be peeing out lots of magnesium and potassium and alkaline rich electrolytes to buffer the acidity. And so number one, when you're doing lots of diuretics, too much coffee, too much tea, that's going to be problematic. At least those have health benefits. We'll talk about that. But things like your sodas and things like that are going to have lots of phosphoric acid. I mean, you can use those compounds to clean engines that are dirty, right? Because the phosphoric acid, the pH is so low and your body's going to use lots of potassium, magnesium to buffer it. So good hydration, half your body weight in ounces is pretty darn good. Uh, exercise. Obviously, that's good. That's going to get your heart stronger. That's going to get your your heart pumping harder. So if you one, it's going to help your stroke volume. Okay, that's a big thing. Get your heart pumping more blood per pump. Number two, you're going to reduce, you're going to increase this enzyme called endothelial synthase, which produces nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. It's going to open up your blood vessels, and it's also going to help improve mitochondrial density so you have better aerobic metabolism. So lots of benefits from exercise. I'm not talking about it specifically here. But I'm just going to go on foundationally anti-inflammatory, low toxin, nutrient dense diet. That's essential. Some kind of a paleo template or a whole food diet that emphasizes good healthy proteins, good healthy fats that are anti-inflammatory, not the excess omega-6, processed vegetable oils, or junky trans fat. Those are going to be highly inflammatory. Anything that causes inflammation is going to cause your cells and your platelets to aggregate, stick together, and that's going to decrease blood flow and increase blood clotting. So really important on that. Uh, Omega-3s. Now, this is important. So the big one are going to be high-quality fish. So whether it's a wild Alaskan sockeye, salmon, some tuna, these are all going to be really good, high-quality fish. Don't worry about the excess mercury in there as long as you're consuming fish that have a high selenium to mercury ratio. Selenium will naturally chelate mercury. The benefit of consuming you know, fish three to five times a week, if it's going to be of a good, healthy quality, whether it's wild Alaskan sockeye or salmon, these are going to be excellent sources. They're going to have high selenium to low mercury ratio. And again, try to get wild. So like flash frozen is really good. Costco has some good deals on some of these things. Just keep an eye out that. You can just Google um, selenium to mercury ratio in fish, and you'll see things like skipjack tuna is good, salmon's good. Just stay away from the, the fish that are going to have the high mercury to low selenium. That's going to be your swordfish. That's going to be your pilot whale. It's going to be your shark, those kind of things. And you'll be in pretty good shape. But omega-3 is from cod liver oil, which has lots of good vitamin A and vitamin K2. Excellent sources to help your blood stay nice and thin. Consuming fish is going to be ideal. If not supplementally, in my line, we use Omega Supreme, about two, two grams a day. You can go up to four as well, four to six, if you need that extra bit of clotting as well.